And welcome to The Factor Uncensored, and thank you for joining us tonight. We hear about people complaining about the men in blue, law enforcement officers. But now the police union here in Houston is sending a notice telling cops to stop snitching on each other. HBO president Doug Griffith joins me to talk about this uptick of complaints in internal affairs. And Doug, you guys had to tell some of your officers, stop snitching on the small <laughs> well, the sad part Stop is Stop taking it all the way up to internal affairs when you have people in place to handle these small complaints. Correct. We have a ton of complaints. Obviously, you know, we're going to expect citizen complaints. That's going to happen. Uh, for too many contacts in a year, we only have about 250 to 280 citizen complaints, which I think is phenomenal. Yeah, it is. Doing it right. But we have over 800 internal. A lot of those are little nitpick things, you know, hey, I forgot to go to in-service, forgot to tell my sergeant, uh, you know, I went to, I didn't go to court, you know, little things like that, that are just a lapse in memory or whatever. Mm -hmm. We don't need full ID investigations for that. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you, I, I was investigated recently for a, a tweet I made, and we spent almost 100 manpower hours on that. I readily admitted to doing it. It's obviously right there on Twitter. It's not a big deal for me. <laughs> Why are we doing all these investigations on it? You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Why are we spending all these manpower hours when we could be out there actually investigating crimes? Now, I understand if we have an incident where we have an officer that's alleged misconduct that is, you know, egregious, sexual in nature, mm -hmm. racist, homophobic, uh, whatever, use of force. We get that. We have no problem with our investigations on stuff like that. But it's the nickel and dime things that, you know, I get in an argument with a, a coworker and they all of a sudden want to drop a complaint. And then you've got the whole divisions having to write letters on it. That's manpower hours wasted. It really is. When this could be handled with a conversation, commander can bring them into his office, let them sit there, hash it out, shake hands and move on. I mean, we used to do that all the time. And mm -hmm. in fact, I made the comment in there, you know, behind the nearest station, we pull over have an adult conversation, shake hands and move on. Today, it's not like that. We have people that they get their feelings hurt over the least little things. Instead of having that adult conversation, they turn around and want to file a complaint. It's just silliness and it needs to stop. Now, are we seeing a new generation of officers out there or a small group? Why are we seeing all of these complaints and very, as you said, you know, people getting their feelings hurt, sensitive individuals in law enforcement? Yeah, you would think we wouldn't have that, but <laughs> we do. I mean, it's just like society in general. You know, you're going to have your Facebook warriors that get out there, but as soon as you go back at them, they get all upset and feelings hurt over it. We have to stop that. We This this is a societal issue. I don't care what anybody says. They can say it's not, but it is. We have people who get their feelings hurt all the time, and all of a sudden they want to cry and whine on Facebook or Twitter or whatever else social media they have. And really, that's not the place for it. Let's have adult conversations. We're adults. Let's get out there and, and do that and get rid of some of the BS out there. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find that we're all alike. And it doesn't matter what job you are or you do, what race you are, if you're male, female, who cares? Be an adult, have those tough conversations, and work it out. And that's what I tell our officers all the time. There's no reason to sit there and whine and moan about things when you can fix it with a conversation. And our supervisors should be doing that instead of following these complaints. Now, what we're seeing, in a, and that's an interesting statistic you gave us. You said, you know, you have contact with 2 million people here in the city of Houston. You've only had just over 200 complaints by citizens against officers, but you've had 800 complaints by officers against officers or because of some something that has gone on internally. So where, if, if they have legitimate complaints, where should these officers go instead of into internal affairs, which cause a lot of manpower, uh, man hours being wasted? Yeah, there's several ways we can handle it. One, supervisor could call you in, deal with it right there. A commander could call you into their office, which nobody really wants that. You don't want your commander calling you in. Uh, but we also have uh, a dispute resolution division. We have a group that does nothing but deal with 
dispute resolution mm -hmm. in between coworkers, supervisors, or whatever it is. And we could handle a lot of these things through that instead of going through internal affairs, having complaints filed, and, and then people were getting disciplined over silly stuff. Well, we got you, uh, Doug. We appreciate your time. Doug Griffith, the president of the Houston Police Officers Union. We appreciate your time, and hopefully they will use the resources instead of internal affairs.